Hi, so today is February 10th, 2021, and tomorrow, February 11th, I will be turning 50 years old. And this video is about what it's like to hit, be at your peak in your 50s and how the flywheel effect got me to that point. So this is a rambling video but it's me being reflective of, of the past year and the past 49 years and how I got to where I am now. Um, on the superficial level, I'm in better shape, physically fit, mentally sharp, everything, every, every metric, the best in my life. And, and, and this, this actually, the physical part actually dawned on me. Um, like last week when I realized like I actually think I have more muscle than I've ever had in my life cardiovascular cardiovascularly fitter than ever across the whole range um, stamina all, all those metrics um, at 50 and this this wasn't planned and this wasn't um, part of the, the the grand scheme of things for this to happen but it's it did happen and and this is where the term the flywheel effect comes in and uh so what the flywheel effect is is a term i believe jim collins uh, was the first person to coin the term and he used it to describe uh businesses and um doing case studies of businesses and the idea here is um in order to get better in any aspect of life it's not a on off switch it doesn't happen overnight what it is is momentum building up slowly over time and all of these things all these little little details uh little victories little improvements over time builds up a tremendous amount of energy and creates this momentum that's very difficult to stop and the flywheel effect can be used to describe a lot of things, and that's how I describe my life. And what's kind of funny on the, on the side note with the, the flywheel effect is I literally use a flywheel um, trainer for my physical training. And so it, it, it all comes home uh, to, to this idea is that I didn't end up like this overnight. It wasn't planned, but what it was is a series of small events adding up, adding up, adding up, building a foundation, building up, building up, build, building up to where someone can peak in their 50s. Um, it, 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 uh, and ha having been told and everyone else being told that, you know, you, your peak is in your th late 20s or you, you peak at 20 or at 18 or whatever, that's bullshit. It doesn't have to be that way. Uh, the way I look at it is life is not a sprint life is a long endurance race you can you can have it end up like a long long drawn out sad slog through life or you can look at it as this long journey that every day and, and doesn't have to be this this all or nothing type uh zero-sum game type thing uh, you know, a victory every day is just moving that wheel forward just a little bit a little bit, a little bit. I mean, so many aspects of my life over the last, particularly the last 15 years, all point to that. That, you know, it was, you know, from, from, and this is a funny thing, is from the lowest point in my life, one of the lowest points in my life, was being a 17 year old dropping out of high school in, 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 in an affluent county where education was everything, um, and being an abject failure it, 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 in, in that regard and ha not having any prospects of hope ending up 33 years later to, to what I have now and what I've, I've accomplished now, um, it's, it's unfathomable. And, and, but in order to get from 17-year-old Will to 33, uh, to 50-year-old to Will, um, it was just incremental improvements that, that added up over time. And, and and this really just really hit ahead, came to a head, uh, really got hammered at, uh, on the head yesterday. So to back up a little bit, Saturday is when I was told, called by American Ninja Warrior 
um, and invited to compete again, though for the first time in 2021, since they invited me last year and, and, and the quarantine uh, took, uh, you know, kind of ruined that whole, uh, ruined that whole opportunity. But they, they asked me again and, and I was incredibly uh, honored and, and, and I'm incredi incredibly honored. But um, the thing is, is that I hadn't trained, you know, I've been training, but I hadn't been to a ninja gym since uh, March 8th, 2020, because I didn't want to take a chance of getting myself sick or my wife sick or Nate sick or my in-laws or my, my mother sick. It just wasn't worth it for, for me to play and this, this off chance of hope of being on a TV show, which I never intended to ever do. Um, so, and same thing with the racing. I didn't know when or when, next time, when the next time I was gonna be able to race again, but taking the flywheel effect, fl the flywheel effect, the flywheel idea to heart, I didn't give up and I continued to move that wheel forward. Um, with the assumption that eventually one of these days I will, I will race a bicycle, a bicycle again with people. I will, the American Ninja Warrior, I really had no idea that that was ever that. I, I just had assumed that that opportunity had gone, passed and gone, you know, especially after I found out in, in mid, late July that the show was already filmed without us. Um, you know, 150 got picked out of the original 500 to go. And, and so that was that when I found that out, found that news out in, 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 in late July, early, early, early August, it was, it was, it was a punch to the, to the solar plexus because, you know, I had built, I had, uh, assumed that at some point that we might go back. Um, and so I built that whole backyard gym. Um, and continue to train and to, to find out that whoop, have the, that rug pulled out to find out that nope it's that opportunity is coming gone and they, they've moved on that 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 uh, I you know I'll be perfectly honest that hurt um, but it would also be disingenuous for me to say that you know it was a dream ruined because you know seven months prior I never even considered uh, being on the show so but that didn't stop me from training. And, and, and uh, to that point, when I did find out in late, late, December, uh, late November, early December that they, they were opening up casting calls and, and taking um, submission videos and, and applications, I decided I'll give it one more try. And, 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 in, and in cobbling together that, that uh, submission video, that I've shared, um, it was just a, an, a great experience for myself to go back through all this footage and, and, and chronologically and, and just like swipe through on my phone and, 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 and uh, to, to get these videos of, you know, this, this journal uh, documenting how far I'd come in, in nine months. And and again, it's a, it's a, it was an incremental thing. And it was never the intention when that first day I walked into Nova Ninja, February 1st, 2020, I, I obviously never knew what would, how far I would have progressed skill and ability wise for, for the, the, the ninja stuff. Now, a year later, never in my wildest dreams. I, but I'm so happy that I, recorded that. And I remember when I first set down my, um, my GoPro that, that Saturday morning uh, with the gym, uh, the upstairs being empty at Nova Ninja, thinking you're a 49 year old fool to film yourself trying this first obst obstacle. But I, something in me said, well, turn the camera on and point it that way. And I did it. And I am so, 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 so happy thankful and that I did that because now I have this 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 rose pressed in in, in an album of, of where I where I began I mean and then I fast forward to yesterday which was the first time I'd been back in 11 months to see that very re, re, retrying that very first obstacle 
and seeing how far I'd come uh, in 12 months. And that's the flywheel effect. That was me pushing, learning uh, over those like six weeks until the, the quarantine happened and then I got, you know, you know, stopped going to the gym and then coming home and regrouping and adapting, adapting what I had, the resources I had available to something that I could utilize. And that's what the long way is. It's the flywheel effect. It is doing the work every day, growing personal growth every day. And I don't want to sound like uh, some kind of new age guru or anything like that, but it is. That's what it is if you want to deconstruct it. It's every day moving forward and forward progress, forward progress, forward progress. And that's how you peak at 50 or beyond. And, and I was having this conversation with Nate and, and Nate at dinner and, and with Betsy and I, you know, and Betsy and I are in the same boat, obviously, because we, you know, that was the thing of our, our partnership is that, is that we support each other. And uh, we're both peaking in our fifties. Betsy's three and a half years older than me. And she's in, <laughs> she's in, the best shape of her life. She and, and she is a, she is a freaking beast, and we are both incredibly lucky to be able to be in this position, be able to support each other, and allow us each other to grow and and to the point where we're we're getting better as as we age. And and I told Nate, it's like you know, I, Dad knows that that day is coming very, very, very soon where I'm gonna to start to decline. And I know that, but it's not, I don't, didn't, didn't go into this, start this journey or continue this journey thinking that's a bad thing. Uh, it was always pushing that envelope to find out where that peak was, could be, not knowing what it, you know, what was possible, uh, but just trying to, to again move that, that that wheel forward every day, and and, and then there's going to get a point where I, it's just too much resistance to make it go forward, and then it's going to start to go back, and that's fine, and that's part of life. But if you didn't keep on trying to move that wheel forward, you'll never know, and you'll never get the benefit out of the life. Then it becomes a, then it becomes a slog, uh, um, and, and you know then it's just pushing this this giant ball up a hill uh, where had you started with a little pebble it would have been so much easier and just keep it going. And, and to, to, to that effect, um, my training, um, it, you know, 15 years ago when I started riding again, let alone, not let alone racing again, it was incremental changes, incremental improvements, riding my bike for five miles, riding it for six, riding it for seven, coming home, doing push-ups, and then riding it for eight, coming home, doing push-ups and pull-ups and then just adding that to, and I remember this, when I was, was racing, started racing again, my body couldn't handle that much physical stress, the kind of stress I was putting on it. And I knew I needed a lot of rest and I still do. I, trust me, that's the one thing I'll, I'll be 100% honest with everyone is that I sleep a hell of a lot. Betsy never sleeps, I sleep all the time. And that's how this is possible, but I know what's possible for me. But to get to, 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 to my point of the training is that it started out with two days or one day a week, then two days, then three, four, five. And, and you know, people have asked me, um, Will, how many days do you work out? And, and I would tell them, oh, five days. It's like, and then it gets up to six. Well, now it's been up to seven and I do double. I do two workouts a day. Um, in fact, the last 40, 40 some odd days I've done, uh, I've worked out every single day. That's not, I don't recommend that, but that's, that works out for me because I've been late, lately been able to manage my stress, get enough rest to make training every day for 40 days straight. Um, but you know, normally I can train at least five to six days a week, at least one day off. Um, but that's the flywheel effect. It didn't start off training seven days a week. Um, it took 14, 15 years to get to that point. And and it's, and it's not like a massive workout every day. It's a little bit over time, start in the morning, come back, do a little bit in the late e early evening, and then have dinner, 
and then do the little final workouts. Actually, it's three, three workouts, but anyway. But that's the flywheel effect. And, and that's, um, you know, you add up all the, that little stuff. It allows me to, and, and to go back to this, the, what happened at the, the gym last night was I hadn't been back there for 11 months. Um, and I was nervous about how I would perform. You know, I had this kind of idea of over the last several months, you know, training in the backyard, though it's not the same as training inside a commercial gym because you don't have the, the safety precautions. My rig is kind of janky and it's it's small, whereas a commercial the commercial one Nova Ninja, it's the real deal. Everything's big, spread out, less risk of smashing into a pole or anything like that. Um, but I hadn't been back in 11 months, so I was curious to see how, how, how I would fare. And, uh, you know, you know, bookending it, trying that first obstacle, then doing, doing it again 12 months and finding out I was way stronger than I was 12 months ago. Um, that buoyed my confidence. And then I did some other stuff that I had never done um, that elevated my confidence even more. And just to know that everything I've done over these last 11 months, having been away from the gym, did amount to something. It did move that ball, that that, wall, that wheel, that flywheel forward. And uh, now it's just a matter of fine tuning those that strength, those few skills I developed outside of the gym. Uh, in the, now I can just go go into the gym and and, and work on that. And 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 I mean that's why I posted all those videos last night because uh, I was just so so excited and happy that uh, it all came together. And, um, you know, it's, it, was the, it was just, I was just ecstatic. You know, I was just giddy. And it was just, a, it, it, it was just all of this validation. So it all came to a head. And, and I was just thinking, wow, this, the, the, you know, it's, it's totally the flywheel effect. All of this is just a little bit, and it just builds up, builds up, builds up. T you know, to, for me to do that stuff, like I don't even know um, you know, when I was a, a competitive rock climber, if I could, 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 do, could, could do some of the stuff I could do now. In fact, I know I could, I can. So, um, and I was lighter then, had no legs. And so it was all upper body. So I was definitely uh, in, in better uh, condition to do the ninja stuff. But now I'm in, in better shape than that, you know, head to toe, more muscle, top to bottom than ever. And I have the cardiovascular system to 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 hold up to um, having to do repeated efforts and, and, and things like that. So, sorry, long video. Um, peaking in your fifties, it's totally possible. I'm living proof. My wife is living proof. Um, I would love if my son was living proof of that. Um, and you know, Bet Betsy and I are you know, constantly reminding him that uh, you know him that you know again, like just like I, I've been saying for those last fifteen minutes, is that it's a, it's a life is a long, a long race, and you can make it a slog, uh, and uh, make it really difficult on yourself, or just work a little bit every day and just move that ball forward and and, and that wheel forward and, and just keep it turning, keep it turning, keep it turning, keep it turning. So and and, and that's the same thing is like with my training, it, it allows me to get sick. Like there's no, uh, people get, athletes get freaked out when they're, uh, they get sick because, oh, I'm now going to get behind in my training. I've learned now, I used to, but now I learn now. It's like you, you, you build your program to account for illness, for, to account for uh, life stresses, for events well beyond your control that will keep you from, from training and that'll give you a buffer, you know, a few weeks. Um, maybe, you know, you know, an injury that, that takes six weeks to, to heal or even longer. Um, but that's what, that's what you do. And, and, and if you, if you work on that flywheel and you keep it going, that it, it gives you a, a, an even bigger cushion, even bigger buffer. So you don't have to stress about that. And so you can't, and, uh, yeah, so please <laughs> every day work on moving that wheel forward because it just pays dividends. It, I mean, it pays dividends 50 years old and I'm at the peak of my life. Stay safe, stay strong, and thanks for watching.